This is 13 ABC Action News with Diane Larson and Lee Conklin. The proposal that we're going to introduce to City Council does have um, does have public support for pre-K. The mayor of Toledo tonight admitting to 13 ABC that he will be asking for taxpayer help to pay for universal pre-kindergarten. And that's after a number of times saying otherwise that private funds would foot the whole bill. 13 ABC's Michaela Marshall explaining why the mayor changed his mind. She joins us now live downtown at One Government Center. Michaela. Lee Diane, the mayor says from the start it was his intention to do what he says no other major city in Ohio has done fund universal pre K entirely with private sector money. But it turns out that just isn't in the cards. That's the sort of thing we want to partner with and join to try to improve our city in a way that the taxpayers aren't on the hook, but still is really valuable in terms of producing the sort of outcomes we want to see. Right now, I don't believe uh, the taxpayers um, are, are going to be asked to participate in this at all. The taxpayers have their hands full, making sure our roads are plowed and that we have police officers and firefighters. And it is uh, our hope and expectation that this important initiative can be funded privately. 13 ABC has asked Mayor Wade Kapsikavich more than once if taxpayers will pick up any part of the bill to fund universal pre-K in Toledo. Here's his most recent response, just last month. Sure, we have you on right. tape there saying taxpayers shouldn't have to pay for it. Yeah. So are you still pretty adamant, though, that taxpayers shouldn't have to foot this bill? I, I am, I'm adamant that, um, that we need to, uh, to achieve this goal as a community. But tonight, the mayor's changing his tune. I'm proud that we were able to raise $2 million of private money. No other city has done that. For the program to work, though, it needs a little help from the public, and I'm willing to take whatever slings and arrows of outrageous fortune come my way. After meeting with a national consultant, the mayor says he realized those private funds couldn't pay for the program alone, but that was always the goal. I would feel comfortable that uh, we've honored our commitment to the citizens, we've honored our promises, but more importantly, uh, we have done what we've needed to do to make sure that Toledo's kids are ready to learn. To get that money, the mayor is proposing to raise Toledo's existing three quarters percent income tax to one and a quarter percent. But its main focus is fixing up city roads. A 45 fold increase in the amount of roads we resurface every year from 10 years so that instead of doing a mile and a half, we're going to do 70 miles of residential road every year for 10 years. The March 2020 levy would also pay to grow the police force, invest in parks, plus add a new summer youth sports league, and yes, partially fund universal pre-K. The new higher income tax would run for 10 years. And I think more than anything else, what they want is a plan. This is a plan. The mayor says it was intentional to put both road resurfacing and universal pre-K on the same levy. And should it fail in March, we'll have to go back to the drawing board and reevaluate a new plan for the November election. Reporting live in Toledo, Michaela Marshall, 13 ABC Action News. All right.